um, led the debate about a water trigger in the federal legislation. And before I, some of you really know these terms, probably even better than me, but just so I don't use too much jargon. Uh, a lot of the powers of making decisions about CSG are at the state level. But to the extent that the federal government has a role, these two, and indeed the uh, newly revived independent <laughs> candidate in uh, New England. <laughs> It's never been a more exciting time to be an independent. <laughs> uh, want to be a voter in your life. Anyway, they led the push on the water trigger. We're very committed to that at the national level. Um, at the state level, state labour just uh, has committed to a policy of keeping uh, North Coast and Northern Rivers CSG free. If we were elected at the national level, we would be supportive of that policy of New South Wales state labour. Full stop. No qualifications over that. Uh, the, broader, the broader question, climate, tackling uh, the future of fossil fuels, renewable energy. The last two and a half years has been quite an atrocity under the current government in terms of renewable energy. Um, the world added roughly a million new jobs in renewable energy, one million new jobs in renewable energy over the last two years. There is one country in the world that's gone backwards in jobs in renewable energy. And do not say Kazakhstan. Do not say, um, you can get the country I'm picking. It's us. It takes skill to come last. You've really got to be not trying. When I did school cross country, you know, I could come towards the end. But you really, to come last, you really, you haven't really bothered entering, have you? And, um, so we're very committed to a strong policy promoting renewable energy. We uh, took the fairly strong position uh, at the ALP National Conference last July where we said and we committed to 50% of our energy by 2030 would be derived from renewable sources. Um, we've committed, and I've, uh, I've got Mark Butler, my spokesperson in these matters, now out there consulting with everyone, um, industry, farm groups, residents, everyone, um, that by 2050 we want to be uh, zero net carbon emissions in the Australian economy, um, and we're looking at what should be our uh, target for emissions reduction, and we'll have more to say at the end of those consultations, which are underway. I mean, we're doing the work that the government should be doing, but it's too lazy to do. Uh, I had the opportunity to briefly attend the Paris Climate Change Conference, and again, for all of you who sort of hold the faith about, uh, and hold the science, even more importantly, that we need to act on climate change, the rest of the world is acting. You know, there was an argument run in the last few years that somehow Australia was unusual because we were taking action on uh, reducing carbon pollution emissions. The reality is the rest of the world is doing that. And so we need to... We don't do anyone any favours in blue-collar jobs by pretending that you can ignore change. You know, I've been in Parliament for seven years, but for the previous 14 I was a union rep. And one of the things I frequently saw which would contribute to job losses is when a company wouldn't reinvest in future technology, where it wouldn't look at new markets, it wouldn't change the way it did things, it wouldn't train its workforce. And what they do is basically keep profits until overseas competition was too strong or replaced by technology and then just shut the gates. Now we can't do this to this nation as a whole. So I see that Labor's got a really big job ahead of it in the next four months to make sure that we explain the value of renewable energy, the pathways in which we can encourage and incentivise renewable energies. One of the issues, and not the only issue, is we need to do something about the rate of uh, land clearing going on across Australia, because that's under the Campbell Newman. I can't believe he's going to pop his head up. Um, but anyway, I guess that's good for the Labor candidate. Um, you know, the rate of land clearing, which was going well under Queensland Labor, has, has gone backwards again under that LNP. In terms of coal, coal is still part of our energy mix. I'm not going to shut any coal mines. Uh, but I do think that the market has a way of sorting out some of these issues going forward. <coughs> We've seen a tipping point the last couple of years globally, where um, we're seeing greater and greater proportion. If you look at all of the investment in energy, uh, the greater weight is moving towards renewables. Here's a number which uh, certainly I think means that Australia needs to engage more in how we attract and develop renewable energy. It's estimated that there'll be two and a half trillion dollars, that's so many zeros, it's a phenomenon, uh, in the Asia Pacific region, two and a half trillion dollars 
in the next 20, 30 years will be available for um, investment in renewable energy. <coughs> I don't want Australia to miss out on that. See, when we talk about climate change, it's not just about uh, helping deal with the rising sea levels, the warming of our oceans, uh, the damage to the barrier reef, drought, uh, third world countries doing it even harder, uh, more, uh, more dreadful weather events which then cause damage in our own communities. There's a positive story to climate change, which is if we choose to get ahead of it, if we choose to be a leading nation rather than a following nation, there are jobs, there are investment, there are services which we can help engage the rising marvellous economies of Asia in and help work with them. So that's our approach and we are certainly, we are going to be on the front foot. Now of course, Mr Turnbull used to be a climate change champion. He once said that he would never lead a party, you know, who didn't believe in it like he does. Well, that changed. Uh, but what I can tell you is that Labor, we're going to talk about the problem of climate change a lot to the community because we can't take for granted that everyone accepts that or understands it. But I see it as one, and you heard me mention renewable energy in my introduction, I see it as one of the five key battleground issues which Labor will fight this next election on. We will chance our arm because we believe that our promoting renewable energy is something which is good for the future of Australia, it's good for the jobs of Australia, it's good for our environment, it's good for our communities. Um, Dinesh asked about religious organisations and taxation.